Welcome to John Cleese Car Audio's YouTube channel. Today is another sale at Hamber. We've replaced the factory radio in due to, unfortunately, yet another faulty touchscreen. Let's go inside and show you the solution we've done. So this is a 2017 Sauer Hambra, which comes with quite a few factory upgrades on the factory screen. For example, optical parking sensors, reverse camera, multifunction steering wheel. And with the solution that we do, which you may have seen on the other Alhambra video, is we managed to keep all that original functionality working on our new solution, as well as a working touchscreen, the bare basics. Now, the stereo that goes faulty in these cars, unfortunately the same unit they fit in VW Transporters, VW Beetles, and other cars in the VAG group. This is the unit here. The touchscreen seems to go wrong quite a lot on these. They are repairable, but some people just want, you know, a slightly newer model with wireless Apple CarPlay, HDMI input, and all the things that you can get, plus a longer warranty, because repairs, you don't generally get much longer than six months, sometimes a year if you're lucky, but still, that warranty is only on the screen part you haven't repaired. The rest of the unit, which is coming up to 10 years old, may have faults. So this gives you a three year warranty on the new unit. Anyway, enough of me waffling on about it. You want to see what it looks like? This is the model in question, the Kenwood DMX 8021, which can be read about there if you want to Google the part number. Absolute cracking unit, extremely popular. And we do fit a lot of these, as you may have seen on our YouTube channel already. Maybe that camera to focus again. And let's turn this on and show you it. So we're gonna come up with the Sayat logo, which we've uh, made and uploaded to the unit. It's just a nice touch to keep it more in keeping because it does look a bit different. So we'll do what we can to make it look as original as possible. Hit the disclaimer. Now this is the home screen. So if I go to the home button, we're gonna have the options like DAB radio you still got. Apple CarPlay will come up here. And I'll tell you what, let's get my phone connected so you can see actually how this unit works. It's very simple because it's wireless CarPlay. All you do is you touch the telephone to perform a connection. We go into Bluetooth on the phone. I scroll down to new devices, which are down the bottom, select the model number in question. I hit pair. I then hit yes on the unit. I then allow my contacts to go across. And what it's doing now is doing a Bluetooth handshake to ready to switch to Wi-Fi. So we go use CarPlay on my phone, enable CarPlay on here. And then now it's gonna perform the connection, which you only need to do once. Once it's done once, you don't need to do it again. It will automatically connect every time you get in. And that goes for Android as well as Apple. And we have, oh, there we go, turn it down. So now we've got Apple CarPlay on the screen. If you're not familiar with CarPlay, it's extremely simple to use. It's made by Apple, an operating system for the car. So we've got the home button for Apple down there. And then this is a super responsive, capacitive screen, so it's really easy to use. Just drag it over to the left to go right and just scroll through your apps. So now the customer's got access to TomTom Go, Google Maps, Waze if you use it and iOS maps. You can then use Spotify on here if you have Spotify. I use Tidal myself, so that's why that's appeared there. And you can use internet radio apps like TuneIn Radio. You know, you don't have to use DAB. If you go into an area there's no DAB coverage, you've got the, app, um, the access to do TuneIn Radio. Now, you're gonna probably wanna see the factory functionality working. So you've got your steering wheel controls on the right here. So if I turn the volume up, you're gonna see the volume going up. So all these buttons work on the steering wheel, including phone buttons. If I was to put the car in reverse, we're gonna get a picture of the reverse camera screen, as you would expect. You're gonna get the parking sensor overlay as well. You can see the car there and the actual beeps of the parking sensor are working as well. And that also matters for the front and all. And if I move the steering wheel, I have got no power steering at the moment because the car's off, but you'll see the moving guidelines actually move as well. So you get all original functionality. It's an extremely good solution with no lack of functionality whatsoever. You take it out of reverse and then you're gonna get your parking sensor overlay still just in case you want the front sensors to work. And as you drive off above six mile an hour, this screen will disappear. Or if you want, you can simply push the P button down here and then the screen will disappear. So yeah, great solution. Came with DMX 8021 with three year warranty to replace that unfortunate faulty system that this customer had in before. That is it. This is a sale at Hamber 2017 with a great solution fitted by John Cleese Car Audio. So I'm gonna finish the video now. It's Connor in front of the camera and Connor in, indeed holding the camera. From all the boys at John Cleese Car Audio, we hope you have a good day. See you later.